All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we are going to be sorting out this foot right here. As you can see, we've got some heel bulb separation. And if you notice, this foot is really out of balance. That's what's caused this problem, this defect in the white line right here. We're going to need to remove this whole area to get this sorted out. So let's get started. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how does a foot get out of balance in the first place? And if you've watched enough hoof trimming videos, you've noticed that a lot of the material that we remove is toward the inner parts of the foot, toward the middle. This part here, this is the defect that's causing this problem. But you'll notice when I trim, I'm not removing a lot toward that outside wall. The majority of what I remove is toward the inner portions of the foot, and that's because that area doesn't wear as much. Well, why doesn't it wear? Well, let's take a look at this right here and help to explain it a little bit. So what we're looking at here is slow motion footage of a cow taking a step. Pay attention to how this foot lands. You're gonna notice that lateral claw, that outside claw, is gonna come up underneath her body. It's when that lateral claw touches, it's that outside wall, that outside portion of that lateral claw that makes contact first. Then that lateral claw loads, and then the medial claw loads afterwards. That is why we end up with more wear toward the outside of that lateral claw, why we have overgrowth toward the inner part of this claw. Consequently, same thing. Watch how this foot lands again. You'll notice the lateral lands first on that outside wall. That's how defects like this form as well. Repetitive steps on an imbalanced claw is gonna, is gonna create a situation where that white line doesn't form correctly. When that happens, we're gonna get a crack in there that forms and she's gonna get infected, which is what we're dealing with in this video today. Now let's finish trimming her up and get working on that white line. So whenever you have a defect in the white line and you have heel bulb separation, like you see here, they're almost always gonna connect. So that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove that area of disconnected horn from up above and work that down until we get to that defected spot in the white line. In this angle here, you can see a lot better what we're dealing with. That'll crack in the white line that we're dealing with. We've got some dermatitis already up here on that heel bulb. So we're gonna remove this area around it so we can clean it out really well and get, take care of that dermatitis. This can be a tricky area to work sometimes because we've got horn oriented in a couple different directions here. Solar horn going one way and then the wall horn going another, meeting in this heel bulb area and you don't know what it looks like underneath, what the lesion might look like. So you gotta really take off thin layers, slowly uh, open that up so you can see what you're dealing with and get your knife up underneath the loose stuff and kind of pull it away. I get questions sometimes wondering if I ever cut myself when I'm trimming this way, where it looks like I'm pulling that knife toward my hand. What I'm actually doing is I'm using the force that I'm applying, I'm applying with my left thumb here. I'm not actually doing much force with my right hand. That's just to guide the knife and kind of lift as I cut. The force that I'm applying, I'm applying with my left thumb. That way I don't have to worry about it really forcing it into myself because I can kind of feel and judge how fast and how 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 far that knife is gonna move by the force that I'm applying.
If you notice, you can see that that lesion is slightly raised, kind of slightly forcing itself out there. That's what I was talking about earlier when I said you don't know what it looks like underneath. You gotta be careful and taking off real thin layers so that you don't make a mistake uh, trimming that away. So now let's get this other claw trimmed up and get a block on it. I can see what I have to do here now. I can see the extent of the separation. So I'm gonna get a block on that and let that cure and then we'll finish the work on this claw. You can see this foot is almost done. We've reduced this outside wall. We've taken that down, removed the separation there. There's still a little bit left to do on this inside part before we're gonna get it cleaned up, get some salicylic acid on that to take care of that dermatitis. This girl will be ready to get back to her pen. And this foot is ready to go down. We'll check back with her in a couple of weeks to see how this is healing. But now let's let her go and get on with her day. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And we will see you all on the next one.